America's cities, they are in chaos. The Democrats who have been in charge now for decades have failed to uphold their most basic and fundamental responsibility, and that is the safety, the security of their fellow Americans. Now, here is today's cover of the New York Post. Crimes ravaged city cries out for help. De Blasio, Bill, do something. And actually, Comrade de Blasio, well, he's done a lot of things, a lot of horrible things that's destroying New York City. It's costing many lives. The anti-crime plainclothes police officers in the NYPD, that unit has been disbanded. He has completely eliminated the effective policy that we call stop and frisk. He cut the NYPD budget by over a billion dollars. And now state lawmakers might force police to buy their own personal insurance for liability lawsuits. I guess my only advice, if I'm going to be a friend to the people I love, uh, frankly adore and admire for their sacrifice service and the risk they take for all of us, I guess if you're a cop and you can retire, now is the time. If you're new on the job, you might want to think about another job. New York City is basically giving you the middle finger, and they're also making it impossible to do your job to protect and, cons and, and serve your local community. And meanwhile, far-left Governor Andrew Cuomo, well, he signed off on that insane, idiotic bail reform policy. He's the one that signed the bill that allows violent offenders to get out of jail the exact same day without posting a penny in bail, nothing whatsoever. In other words, the consequences of these soft-on-crime policies, it is now dire in New York City and state. Shootings in New York City, they're up by 130 percent. Murder is up by 30 percent. Burglaries, they're up a whopping 118 percent. On Monday, a 14-year-old was shot three times in broad daylight on the streets. Now, before I show you the next tape, view a warning, what you're about to see is extremely graphic. Well, now, look at this. Hap this happened over the weekend. A man shot dead in the Bronx in New York while walking. See that little six-year-old little daughter, girl, across the street. And you see the guy in the car right there? He points the gun and assassinates that man in broad daylight. Horrible. The poor girl ran for her life in fear. And on Sunday, video captured this gut-wrenching scene. Two gunmen cornered three individuals at the end of a hall. They opened fire. They killed two of the men, severely wounding another. Cuomo de Blasio, uh, what do you have to say about this? You're allowing this to happen. And let me tell you what's happening in New York is the direct result of de Blasio and Cuomo's failed policies. When laws are not enforced, when police budgets are slashed, when cops are not supported, when criminals get out of jail without any bail, chaos, carnage, predictably, will always ensue. Always. It's not a hard mathematical formula. And now Democrats across the country, they now are arguing they want to completely defund and de dismantle all law and order, and all police departments. And the socialist and the so-called squad in Congress, well, they just unveiled this genius bill to strip police funding. Congresswoman Omar is now calling for the entire system to be, quote, dismantled. The entire system? We're going to get rid of every cop, every law enforcement official? All right, we go back to the simple, basic, fundamental question. Who will you, the American people, call in an emergency after these Democrats dismantle the police. Who are you going to call? Because this is what will happen if Democrats get their way. Take a look. You have reached the 911 police emergency line. Due to defunding of the police department, we're sorry, but no one is here to take your call. Leave your name and number, and someone will get back to you. Our estimated wait time is currently five days. Goodbye. The president's ad is exactly dead on accurate, unfortunately. And the truth is, Democrats who want to defund police, they don't care about your safety. They don't care about your security. They don't care if your business gets looted. They don't care about arson. They don't care if your neighborhood is actually even taken over by vandals and anarchists. They live behind gated communities. They're walled off compounds. Many have the ability to pay for their own private security, or they even use your tax dollars to protect them. And so year after year, decade after decade, they ignore the violence. And make no mistake, if Democrats, if they get their way, what is happening in New York, what's happening in Chicago, what's happening in Seattle and in California, that'll be coming to a town near you, a neighborhood near you. Let's call it a preview of coming attractions in case 
Biden, Pelosi, and Schumer are elected in 119 days.